Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. So today we are not going to do any coding. Subject for today is how to backup your microcontroller's firmware and how to restore it. Because there is no reason to mention how useful this could be. I'm just going to uh, make a new folder. Let's call it backup. Open it. And let's do our example. So I have my uh, ESP8266 microcontroller connected. I'm going to uh, open my uh, terminal. So in order to back up your firmware, you need uh, your esptool.py. Type esptool.py with baud rate. We are going to set baud rate. So 115,200. We are going to provide port address. So in my case, because I'm on Linux, I have uh, dev tty usb 0. Now instead of writing flash, we are going to read flash. From 0x six zeros to 0x zero one five zeros. And finally provide address where you want your uh, binaries to be stored. So in my case, it's local directory flash one megabyte because uh, this is a one megabyte model dot bin and and click on enter so give it some time until it's done all right now we have our backup file in here well now in order to restore this content First, we have to erase our flash. Once again, use ESP tool, py, and erase flash. This is going to be much faster. All right, and now we are going to write our binary content back to our microcontroller. Once again, ESP tool.py set baud rate to 11 port address dev tty usb 0 so if you are on windows you are probably going to have something like com1 or com2 and then write underscore flash F flash f r eq atm and address 0x six zeros and finally provide path to your stored binary for me it's flash underscore one m dot bin and click enter okay now after this is done i'm going to open my visual studio code uh, in order to upload some sketch to our microcontroller in order for you to see that everything is working perfectly. So I'm going to close this. I'm opening Visual Studio Code. I already have some sketch prepared. So this is simple counter sketch. I'm going to close this. All right, now I'm going to upload this piece of code to our microcontroller. First, I'm going to build it. Okay, that's, that's done. And now I'm going to upload it. Okay, now I'm going to open uh, my serial monitor. Let's check it. Yeah, serial monitor. Let's see what we are going to get. All right, we are counting and now I'm going to restart my microcontroller. So from zero, one, two, all right. So this works perfectly. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you have uh, learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.